guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the Rev Room. It's your boy Mickey Mac. Now, if you remember my last video, I talked about the 10 deck USB 3.0 hub. And uh, overall, this thing's pretty cool at what it does. But in this video, I'm here to tell you the main reason why I bought the 10 deck USB 3.0 hub. And that is for this my Focusrite Scarlet Solo, third gen. Um, or any audio interface. So why would I need this for this? You just plug the audio interface right into your computer, it's bus powered, through USB, and there you go. Well, I'm gonna show you a cool trick for what you could do with using these two. So here's my audio interface. Um, I have the third gen Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio Edition, meaning that it comes with the mic, the mic wire, and the headphones. And of course you have the USB-C to USB-A cable that plugs directly in your computer. And there you go, that's all you need. But let's say if I want to use my audio interface on an iPhone 13 Pro, I could do that. How? Here are the things that you need. The first one is going to be a USB hub. Obviously I did a video on this so you know what this is all about. Now the most important piece of equipment for hooking up your audio interface to your iPhone is one of these. This is a Apple USB 3 camera adapter, and you can obviously tell if you do have the right one like I do. Um, it has a USB-A port and a lightning port. And at the other end is a lightning cable. And last but not least, a lightning cable. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your USB hub and plug it into the wall outlet. Next, you're gonna wanna take the USB wire that comes out of your audio interface and plug it into a port on the USB 3.0 hub. I would recommend not turning it on yet, just plug it in. Next, take the hardwire USB 3.0 out cable and plug that into the USB A port on the Apple USB 3 camera adapter. Try saying that three times fast. Now take your Apple lightning cable Plug that into the Apple camera adapter. Take the other end of this, and we're gonna plug this into the charging port, which is separate from all the on and off switch ports. So by me plugging this into the one dedicated charging port, this port is always on and always will be charging. So it's not like you plug it into here and then you might accidentally turn it off. This is always going to be charging. This one's always on at the top. But these four are controlled on and off switch ports. Now I know this looks like a giant octopus of wires, but this is the way to do it. So now we pretty much completed the hardware setup. So now I'm going to set this down, go on my iPhone, and open up a new project in GarageBand. By the way, sorry for the glare. And we're going to go to Audio Recorder and click Voice. That opens this up, turn the effects off. Okay, so now we're recording clean vocals. We got one track ready to record. Now you're gonna plug in the Apple USB 3 camera adapter. And finally, now you're gonna hit the power button on your USB 3.0 hub. The USB light is on, meaning that I do have power going to the interface. As soon as you see this message, turn on monitoring. Make sure in the bottom left, it's set to channel one, input one. Head over to your audio interface. Make sure all these knobs are turned down. Turn on 48 volts slash phantom power. Should see a light. Let's turn up the gain a little bit. Turned it to 12 o'clock. I'm gonna grab my mic. And you can see the halo rings indicating feedback on the interface. And you could also see feedback coming into GarageBand. So now I'll probably record a little something. Yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Mickey Mac. Welcome back to the Rev Room. All the sound is going to be coming out of your headphones. You're going to need headphones for this. So no matter what, make sure you do have headphones because you do have to monitor everything. Also a quick tip. If you do decide to use the monitor on GarageBand within the app, 
the direct monitor on the interface must be turned off. If both monitors are turned on, expect to hear some latency. That is the entire setup of how to hook up your audio interface to your iPhone. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, at the Rev Room of course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is your boy Mickey Mac. As always, I'm out.